Every object on a book page effectively exists on its own layer. Each layer can be thought of as a transparent sheet with just one object on it. Let's look at this by way of a simple example. Let's say we have a book page with a grey background. We then put three objects on this book page, a text block, a blue rectangle and a yellow star. Each of these objects is on its own layer and when the book page is viewed, the transparent sheets for the layers are effectively stacked on top of each other, showing the completed page and all its contents. Initially, the layers are arranged in the order the objects were added to the book page, with the objects added first at the bottom and the objects added last at the top. This is reflected in the objects list, and you can also see the number of the layer the object is on in the objects layer property, with layer 1 being on the bottom and the layer numbers increasing towards the top. Now, the order of the layers is important because if you have overlapping objects, the order in which they're layered determines which ones can be seen. For example, in our sample book page, if the blue rectangle was on a higher layer than the yellow star, you wouldn't see the star on the page because it would be obscured by the blue rectangle. You can change the order of objects by dragging the objects into a different order in the objects list. You can also use the Change Layer button or the right-click shortcut menu to move an object up or down one level, or to push it to the very bottom or bring it to the very top. Note the page itself is effectively layer 0, and you can't move it from this position. A couple of additional points on layers. If you group objects, only the group is assigned to a layer, and all of the objects in the group are considered to be on the same layer. However, you can still reorder the objects within the group by dragging them in the objects list. Finally, although animation objects are listed in the objects pane and are visible in the editor, they don't actually occupy a layer. Only the object that's the target of the animation object has a layer, and this is not impacted at all by the relative position of the animation object in the object list. For this reason, you might want to put all of your animation objects in the background, that is at the bottom of the objects list, so they don't get in the way during editing.